Hello everybody, welcome back to the great unboxing project of this abandoned comic book collection that I am now in possession of. This episode is going to be a little bit different because we had some technical difficulties. Uh, the camera that I used to shoot my shot, uh, we lost the video on it. That was my bad. But we do have the video of the close-ups on it. I'm not going to reshoot it or anything like that because I wanted this to be an original reaction to the unboxing. Uh, but we are unboxing... The two short boxes, which actually turned out to be magazine boxes. Uh, and we we're also doing one long box, which is half full, all Spider-Man, which is pretty cool. So we're just going to be doing those. But it's all going to be close up. It's all going to be voiceover on it. So no, no reaction shots from me or anything like that. So hopefully you like it. If you don't, I'll be back doing the, doing the same thing I usually do on episode four. So if you have any comments, I'd love to hear them below. Please do me a favor and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the share button. Let other people know about this comic book collection that I'm sure they'd be interested in seeing. Uh, we got a lot more boxes to unbox. We got a lot more to find. Uh, and it's a crazy trip. So it looks like this entire box is Savage Sword of Conan. Uh, the first one here is number 25, 31, 40. Dude, this is so awesome, man. Like, it's not too often you actually see these things like taken care of like this with uh, magazine size bags and backs. So this is really cool. All these, those are $1, 125 here. So number 45. Forty-six. Fifty-four. Man, this artwork's so good. Norm. Not familiar with that guy, but man, I really like the way these look. 56, 57, 58, 60. Is that double issue in here? Oh, two. Okay. Sixty-two, Seventy six double seventy seven seventy nine eighty three eighty seven eighty eight. 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, wow, an entire run, this is awesome, 121, 122, 
had such great illustrations on the back too like ah, we were gonna use this one but we went with the other one but you need to see this one too 133 another double mask guys doubling up on all of them 134 little bend in there 113 to 134 and then there's a break go to 136 137 looks like another break this is 139 yeah it doubled 152 That's a great shot. That's a great cover. 158. That one's been abused a little bit. 159. 160. 175. 197. 215 217 218 Looks like there's some ink on that one. Somebody let their kid get to it. 219 Conan the Barbarian meets Kane the Puritan. Two twenty-one. Conan dances with werewolves and werewomen. <laughs> Double. Two twenty-two. Also doubled. 140. So this one's kind of out of place a little bit. And that's that for that but that box. That's it for that box. So uh pretty cool. Um I love Savage Sword of Conan. Like I could spend all day reading these things. Like I loved this magazine when it came out. I used to love getting it. I recognize some of these covers in here and uh Man, it's just cool that he has a whole box of them. I'm wondering if the other, like, let's check the other box because the other box might have more Savage in it too. So we're going to check out. All right. Had to pull all these out. <laughs> uh, so this is box two. And uh, first one here is uh, Creepy, number 25. Creepy 107, all sci-fi spectacular. Eerie on the outside, thank goodness. 22, boy, here's some old books, man, some of the rips on the spines. Eerie number 119. Number 110. 
121. One twenty four, one thirty, all new illustrated heroic adventure of the Rook number three. Time machines, Morlocks, and HG Wills in the far flung future. This is number five, so it's from 1980, October 1980. So, okay, this was June. So this was a so this was a bi-monthly magazine. Number six. Number seven. Number nine, number ten, uh, copy of number ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. This is Goblin number two. There's a free full color comic inside the magazine. <laughs> I don't know if that's in there or not. Uh, number three. Dang, I wish you had number one. 1994 number 11. Nineteen ninety four, number twenty four. Well, they're brutal in their covers. This is from nineteen. That was what nineteen eighty, nineteen eighty two. Here's Panther, Premier Collector's Edition. So this is number one from October nineteen eighty. Uh, Close Encounters Magazine, Official Authorized Edition, Rex Havoc, Raiders of the Fantastic, November 1981, hmm. that looks all original. Frankenstein. Number 19, it looks like. Oh, so this is like a film magazine, Harryhausen. Yeah. Cool. Crazy weird stuff in there. This is a distant soil from Warp Graphics number one. Ooh, the Death of Captain Marvel graphic novel. X Men graphic novel. God man, God loves man kills. Great story. Ah, oh, Dazzler the movie. Revenge of the Living Monolith. I remember this one. Marvel Graphic Novel number 17. She-Hulk, excellent issue. Number 18. Back when She-Hulk was cool and not destroyed by Disney Plus. Conan the Barbarian. Graphic novel number 19, The Witch Queen of Asheron. I remember that one. That was great. 
Marotta the She-Wolf. Don't remember that one. Amazing Spider-Man. This hooky. This is a great story. I remember that I had this one. This is part of my original collection. That's a great story. Great artwork in there. Daredevil. They have a number on this. Yeah, they stopped numbering them. The Force is now with Spider-Man and Zoids. Okay. That is completely bizarre. There's no Spider-Man on there. There's no Zoids on there, but there's Star Wars. Darth Vader's on there. This is from 14 June 1986. 30 p Oh, so this is a UK magazine. 30 pence. Number 15. Well, that's cool. Bonkers, but cool. Spider-Man and Zoids again. With a hobgoblin on it. Number 16. Special Marvel and comic books, comics feature. Spider-Man special, also a UK comic, pound 20. That's a great picture, I love that picture. Never seen that before. Mighty World of Marvel, 65p, so this is also UK. Micronauts, Dark Xavier. Wow, that's crazy cool. I was not expecting a bunch of uh, UK stuff in there. Okay, so this is... Uh, the uncanny X-Men uh, graphic novel. Nice. Marvel Comics Index Part 9A. That's a thick book. Oh, I wonder if that's part of the um, Marvel Encyclopedia. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Graphic novel from first. The original Nexus from first. Graphic novel. Michael Moorcock's Elric. Graphic novel. Sweet. Some nice reading in there. This is Demon Skin, Muscles and Guns, issue 1, June 96, $5. So this is an independent mag. Mask got a bend in it too, so that sucks right at the top there. I think because it's the, yeah, if you look at it, it's taller than the regular magazines. So it got bent over by the lid of the box. This is number two. Number three. Okay, now it's a more better size. Uh, Demon skin number six of six. Number four of six. Five of six. Muscles and guns. I'm not familiar with these guys at all. Featuring blood marines. Number one, Will Eisner's Spirit, number 38, magazine. The First Kingdom from Bud Plant, Inc., number book 21, The Origin. First Kingdom, book 13. First Kingdom, book 12. 
interesting artwork in here, man. Really cool. Book eight. Book three. It's a pretty brave cover. Book five. Number one. So first kingdom number one. Heavy hitters. Joe Kubert's tour. Number one. Nice. That's from uh, Epic. Yeah. Epic Circles, it looks like. Epic. Epic Comics. I don't think that's part of the... That doesn't look like Marvel's imprint, though. Might be. Still cool. Nice Joe Kubert art, too. Crazy stuff, man. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Um, the Brinks of Ecstasy. Alright, whatever that is. Buffy the Vampire Slayer magazine. Raiders of the Lost Ark. A Marvel Super Special Magazine, number 18. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, number 30. Conan Saga, number two. I love that this guy's a Conan fan. Conan Saga, number four. Number five. Number six. Man, two bucks, and look how thick that look how thick that magazine is, man. Three full length stories. Why don't they make books like that anymore? Number seven. Ah, Conan Saga number twenty one. Twenty five. Sixty one. Eighty four, ninety seven, Savage Tales featuring Conan from Curtis, number three, Manson Owen, geez, seventy five cents, kind of beat up, but still. Call the bar, call and the barbarians, number one. No, yeah, number one from Curtis. First issue. Awesome. That's a thick book, too. Holy cow. Look how thick that thing is. Red Sonia, number 38, with a terrible rendition of the original movie theater poster. That's it. So, so that's book two. That's box two. That's some crazy stuff in there, man. I'm gonna have to like do some digging on research for that stuff. But uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of Conan again. A lot of more. A lot of uh, graphic novels, which is just awesome. Seeing the Marvel graphic novels in there is just awesome because I've I collected those for a while too. So, seeing some of those spark some old good memories. But. Uh, yeah, let's check out this long box and see what's in there. It's only about half full, uh, but I'm hoping there's some good stuff in there. All right. Had to get those out. And like, uh, as I was afraid, these uh, did fall down, so they do got some curvatures in them, unfortunately. It looks like the whole box is Spider-Man. Uh, so we're just going to go through here and see what all he's got here. Or had, because now I got it. 212, Amazing Spider-Man 212. You see that curve, man? Holy cow, look at that. God, take care of your comic books, people. 213. 
214, 215, 216. Two seventeen, two eighteen, two nineteen, two twenty three, two twenty four, two twenty five, two thirty. 231. Man, I'm seeing some of these covers in there taking me back. Holy cow. 232. Special normal size 253 issue. <laughs> 251. 252. There he is. First black one. First black costume. Two fifty three, two fifty four, two fifty five, two fifty six, two fifty seven, two fifty eight, two fifty nine. 260. Nice run here. 261. 262. 263. 264. 265. 266. 267, 268, uh, the Secret Wars 2 crossover. This is cool because if you had a uh, Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man, it was a mirror image um, uh, on this side. So you could put them side by side and you had uh, black costume Spider-Man going this way and then you had red costume Spider-Man going that way, I believe. 269. Man, nice run. 270. 271. 272. Slide. Uh, man, I remember that guy. So low key, but low, low. I remember that guy. Beyonder. 273. 274 
285 with the Punisher. Very nice. 286. 293. Oh, Craven. Nice. 298. 298. Todd McFarlane, first cover. 299. You kidding me? Where's 300? Come on, man. 301. Dad gummit. 302. 313. Man, McFarland did some great covers. 314. 315. 317. 318. 319. 320, 321, 322. Oh, the assassination plot, I remember that. 326, 327, 328, 328. <clears throat> I love McFarland's Hulk. He just looks so crazy. 329. 330. 333. Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 10 from 1976. Nice. Spider-Man number 14 annual. Number 15 annual. Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 16, Captain Marvel. Ah. Nice. 317. 
That's um, yeah. That's so. That, is this the first? Wow, so I didn't know she debuted in Spider Man. That's Captain Marvel, who's now Photon. But um, yeah, she's the one that's gonna be in the upcoming Marvels book. She was in the um, uh, WandaVision series. Cool. Seventeen annual seventeen annual eighteen. Annual 19, Annual 20, The Iron Man of 2020, hilarious. Amazing Spider-Man Wedding Issue, Giant Size Annual Number 21. That didn't last long, did it? Uh, Atlantis Attacks Annual. Number 23. The official Marvel index to Amazing Spider Man number one. And number two. And number three. And number four. And number five. And number six. Number seven. Number eight. And number nine. Also kind of bet there. But cool. Wow. Some nice stretches in there. I can't believe number 300 is not in there. That just doesn't make any sense at all. But uh, yeah, a lot of other good stuff in there. Whole stretches in there. The first McFarlane's are in there. Um, so not a bad box. We should take care of your man, please. Take care of your comic books, people. Don't let that happen to you. Anyway, that's it for these three boxes. Um, next episode, we're going to start diving into these big, huge boxes here. Um, probably pulling three at a time, I guess. And uh, see what we can find in there. So I'll see you next time. Y'all be good.